boogers. So, I got a story for you about a little incident of mine last semester. This is a shorter one about my first semester in college and my second day on campus in the possession of a bicycle. Really nice, expensive thing. It was, it was this mountain bike. I got it from my dad. He's not the most trusting man in the world, but I needed a bike to get around, and he didn't really have a very good excuse for me not to use his. I mean, he never uses it. So you know when you've got those squeaky brakes and they're just echoing around everywhere, and you're just so insanely embarrassed? Yeah, I had those. I just felt like everyone was staring me down every time I What is that? Sorry! What be that incessant squealing noise? Our campus is in the middle of a city, and yet it's a mountain. It's like you get to the top of a hill and you breathe a huge sigh of relief. Only to look forward and, oh crap. Stairs. Hills, stairs, hills, stairs. Cliff! Nah, I'm just kidding. You see cliffs way more often. But every once in a while, there's a silver lining. Downhill. And they are just a treat. So I'm on my way from English to my next class. It was a Tuesday. I remember that. And I found the downhill. No pedaling required. It was amazing. The breeze in my flowing locks. My new shirt blowing in the wind. And I could actually feel a current going through my shoes a bit. And my epic toe huggers. Yeah, I was wearing them that day. Now I have two different stories for what happens next. The real version and the badass version. I'll start with the badass version. I'm going down this hill on a sidewalk alongside a parking garage, and this guy just strolls out of the parking garage right in front of me without even looking, and I hit the brakes. I hit the front brakes, because the back brakes were squealing, right? Keep in mind, I've been out of experience on a bike. I forgot how evil the front brake is. You can imagine what happened next. I jumped up, bloody face and all, and this guy just yells, What the hell, man? You just about killed me! And I just walk up to him and suck him in the jaw! Ha ha! He just, he just stumbles off like, Man! No, that's not actually what happens. On to the real story. Very similar story. Sorry! Stairs downhill. But when I crash my face into the cold hard cement, I hop up and just stagger around and I'm in shock. And this guy just yells, Are you okay, man? I'm so sorry, man! Gosh, I just stood there! I don't even know why, man! No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm good. I, I'm fine. Your face is kind of messed up, man! And I reach in my mouth, and my tooth feels like it's hanging from a thread. And now all I care about is that tooth for the next four hours or so. It's all I can think of. This guy runs up and says he's a first responder and checks me out. He calls 911. My professor for the next class shows up. I guess a classmate saw and tipped her off once he showed up. A fire truck comes! Uh, okay, a fire truck! I was so embarrassed. I went to the hospital and got patched up, and then I went to the dentist and got my tooth braced. Couldn't play my trumpet for a few weeks. Later on, thinking back, I had to wonder why the crap that guy just stood there. <laughs> now my immediate assumption was my beautiful face and my flowing locks. But then it hit me. It was the epic toe huggers. Oh.